there is something super interesting that I saw in the Jordan Alvarez swing mm -hmm. right here in practice. So MLB Network put him out there in practice situation. I thought that was interesting because lately I've been working with some um, baseball players and the biggest thing, the biggest problem they have in, 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 in their mechanics. Sometimes it's not about the hands. Sometimes it's not about, um, you know, if the bear, if they cutting the ball down or are they, are they going on there? It's none of that. A lot of MLB players, they got a good turn. They got a good, um, Good sequence of, of, of the barrel, um, good release and all they that. They make it happen natural, right? Good posture. Yeah. yeah. But this movement, this movement, look at him hitting right here, just a little BP. But look at the consistency, consistency and look how he look. It, it probably looked like he's just playing around or whatever, but watch this. Bang. Look at that. That's just... You see, he looks smooth and he don't look crazy going forward, stuff like that. And you remember Aaron Josh doing that drill with the little, with the with the insider bat? He barely moved forward. No, he yeah. barely moved forward. Mm -hmm. And Jordano, we all know that he's a lot. Jordan, of, Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez. You, we all know that he moved a little bit more forward than this video. Yes, yes. But if I can guess what he's doing, he just don't try to worry about that because he, he probably already have that problem because it's normally 90% of all the baseball players that we hit with, they got the problem of jumping forward yes. because they see the ball out there and they cannot control themselves to stay back. So yes, your body going to move forward. Yes. I want to create a little bit of uh, separation moving forward. Right. But if it's a problem by staying back, you got a problem staying back. Why you keep working on it? Mm -hmm. Why you like, you know that you're going to move forward. Let's just eliminate too much movement forward. Okay. And I see this in him. Um, and I thought that was a, like, you know what? Let's talk about this because look at this. You see, it's barely moved forward. He's just fighting, staying back right there. Look at that movement. This is key. He land. That's money. Boom. Even before that heel go down, he was already releasing in the back. So he was tilting back there. Tilting. And if I can put this thing right here, look at this. He can, he don't drift forward and keep jumping forward. He just getting behind that ball. Mm -hmm. And something that I've been talking with some of the players is that like, even I, I got one, he, it, I told him like, Hey, you could, you could move a little bit more forward. You could have a little bit more movement forward, but then he's scared to move forward because he say, dude, I know when I move forward, things start going down. Mm -hmm. I start swinging shit. I start swinging balls on the ground. I start trying to do too much. And I don't even realize that I'm moving forward because I get too comfortable with the movement forward that I don't want to even go forward. Mm -hmm. You know, so it worked different ways. So obviously we don't want to just sit back and just spin, but we want to focus on staying back. We want to focus when we move forward. We still want to keep that torso back the most we can and try to control that movement forward. So when we land, we're ready. Mm -hmm. And when you stay back, you're gonna have more power. When you stay back, you're gonna see the ball longer. But when you're all in your front leg, and normally that's happening every time, uh, you're gonna get in a lot of trouble. So we had to see that this kid is consistent. This kid is every year is hitting, and he's hitting for good numbers, power and, and uh, average right so obviously this deal that he's doing right here he probably can work for you he just barely moved forward he just well, i'm just getting behind the ball right here i don't worry about that bah! because the power coming from here the power come from here from the coil right here that's the power 
and holding it when you landing. If you understand how to hold that load and try to be smooth moving forward, you will understand power and consistency. You will understand what is this going forward with control. You will understand or understand how is to see the ball coming all the way to home play, coming all the way to the catcher. Okay. And the power, the quickness is there. It's not about transfer way. It's not about doing something crazy up front mm -hmm. because a lot of y'all looking for power and y'all drifting forward and try to do, get all that power, exit speed, velocity, blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling you, it's not going to be the answer of your swing and the great mechanic. It's not your bat speed. It's the mechanic first and then worry about bat speed. So the bat speed will come because of good mechanics, but you can bring back speed with a bad mechanics, you still suck. You yeah. maybe survive because you're fast enough and strong enough to get better out there, but you're not going to become the best hitter. I'm telling you, it's hard to become the best hitter when you just bring bad speed and you don't bring mechanics, right? Because you don't got no clean swing. You don't know how to hold in the back. You don't know how to see the ball longer. You're going to be making wrong decisions. So it's a lot of high schools out there. They're hitting... The swing is so fast. They're probably like, oh my God, breaking the scale. But when you're playing this level, it's about accuracy. It's about have consistency, about how to control your body, how to, how, because in the end, it's about, you have to barrel the ball. You yeah. can have the hardest swing. Ah, but you swing hard and fast. You're going to have, uh, you're going to barrel more, dude. But what about if I tell you if you are swinging fast, but you are like all long drifting your body. So by the time, yeah, the metro is going to say you, you swing so fast. But by the time you, you you get the barrel there and you make the decision, sometimes it just it's not getting there because you're taking, you're doing all this extra moving. And remember the, the, the thing, um, how you call it? The metro? Oh yeah. The, the technology. Technology. That we yeah. measure just the swing. So the swing is going to be fast, but then by the time you're taking the swing, you, the ball is probably already passed. Or maybe you don't get in, in the right pattern or the right uh, angles in the right situation so mm -hmm. you can barrel the ball because you can have fast hands, but the barrel is like this. Yep. So you have to barrel the ball no matter what. Because if we're talking about, uh, uh, how you call it? Yeah, Arise. His swing is the slowest in the MLB, one of the slowest, and he's one of the most consistent because he barreled the ball. Okay? The mechanic, his body's moving well. His body moving well. He know how to see the ball longer. Stanton and, hit super hard. And he's not consistent. He's not consistent. And he getting less consistent and hurt. Hurt. Now, this is him in a real situation. Good low. I like his low. His low is like very on the control. Then when he moved forward, blah, 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 he getting a good stretch. But now I feel that he can keep the torso back because I feel like in practice, he tried to just uh, feel like that he's going to stay more back. So in the game, he would probably he just, there. this happened, right? Yeah. Or, or he may be trying to change it this year. He tried to do better at that. But when he's landing, he already released in the back leg right there. Okay. So he's still doing the movement that we're supposed to do with the torso back yeah but he just do it with the torso more up front okay but it's the same movement it's the same quickness it's the same release it's the same action now that i feel like he can do better yes it's always room to get better but because if i put it right next to body bones right next to manny ramirez right next to they have the same action but you will see a little bit more torso in the back so it allow them to see the ball longer and probably you will see a little bit more control when you move forward you will make better decisions, okay? He, but, you know, for him, you know, he working. He working. He working. It's not like a breaking deal. Like, that's what I'm saying. You have to focus on what is important. And that's why we are uh, getting so much better at this. And that's why we are, was able to help the MLB players that we help. And we can help you with the <clears throat> membership that we are offering, the VIP membership. We can help you because we're going to do exactly what we're doing right now, but with you, with specific details and no excuses, just specific details. And we're going to make it 
no matter what, because we want to get your swing to a whole nother level. You need, you need consistency with your coaching, right? So if you trust us to be your coaches, maybe your coach is a dinosaur. You love him a lot, but maybe he don't, he's not getting you where you want to be. And I'm telling you, when you have this kind of detail, put me out there, put me out. When you have this kind of detail with you, an elite player, and you go to practice and you understand what you're doing and you don't understand what you're doing, but you need information. And then day by day telling you, look at work on your shoulder, work on this, work on that. You had the drills in the list. I'm telling you, work on that drill, work on that drill, send me the video, whatever. We will be, we be out here, just send you video back with the critique, with the analysis, you know? Now you have to be tough. You have to understand critique. You cannot get frustrated. You have to, I understand sometimes it can be hard, because the movement, it may be easy for you to do some other things that you was used to it, but it were not working. It were not working. Oh, maybe they don't wanna work later. I promise you. You need to look the most close to those elite players at the time of swinging if you wanna keep playing for longer. Think about this. Watch all the players in the MLB right now and watch the elite move. If they have the lead move, you will see the consistency. And you will see the players from now, the comparison, the players from now and the past, how different they look. The swing today, it looks a little bit more cleaner, more clean, more clean. And every day it's just getting more clean and clean. Why? Because pitching is getting faster and faster. So right now we see so many players throwing 100. 10 years on the row. You probably everybody gonna be throwing hundred. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Is, so guess what? If your mechanic is not clean, you probably had to give up playing travel team at twelve. You, you probably had to give up before high school, because you cannot take no more. The frustration of you not be able to hit. Okay, I'm telling you, because I know, it's it's it's, it's, it's happening. It's happening. It's coming there. A lot of kids wanna play travel, but they can't even make the team because they are way behind with their swing. This is the only sport, the only sport that is the hardest sport just because of hitting, just because one thing, hitting. If you can't hit, you can play. If you can hit, you get frustrated. If you can hit, you just have to just avoid, you, you just have to work. That's it. But it's a way, it's a trick. It's a, it's a, it's a video that you, it's, it's a way that you have to look when it's time of action. It's time to, get through it and i'm telling you it's been working this uh due to is gonna keep growing and i know it's gonna keep getting more players we already have memberships in our in the in the, in the, the website in the, the website, website. loscastrobros.com so they're about they're already sending us videos and we are back together all right let's go get it get it work on that work on this so make sure you get these mechanics maybe it's not with us Maybe you, you don't want it because you feel good hitting the ball right now, but you need to do your checklist. If your swing look okay, your swing gonna be okay in the MLB? Mm -hmm. Are you are you sure? Because if you, if I talk about yesterday, what we talk about, Max Clark, it's a prospect. He's doing adjustment to play in the highest level. You don't wanna wait till you sign till you start fixing your mechanics. You know what I mean? You want to fix it now, open your brain, open your mind, open your soul right now, because the opportunities is you thinking, yeah, I have a lot of opportunities later on. No, no. You're going to have this much opportunity, very close, close gap. At least get your mechanics ready, get your mechanics ready. Keep working on the on your quickness. Keep working on getting stronger. Keep working on your arm. Keep working on your defense. It's a lot of going on. You have a lot of work, but the hitting is important. It's important. Right now we got uh, players with bellies. Yeah. With bellies in the MLB. But they had to hit. They had to bring something because they can they cannot run. But if they hit, they will play. They will play. They will keep you. They will play. And it's is is you see right now it's just getting harder. The average going down. Yes. It's gonna be a wave of good <laughs> players coming up. But it's gonna take time. Because right now it's a lot of y'all watching it, but it's it's too much not watching it. It's so many that don't watch this. Because mm -hmm. we don't got no million views. We still don't have no million. 
no million views so something is missing now but you see the other channels with ah hitting with a woofle bar hitting with a oh <laughs> we can get shit hitting with a metal bat from years ago hitting with you know watching bs yeah but it's baseball i like it right but here is not just a channel or just entertainment it's a channel that really is going to give you some opportunities to play the game longer we have parents that invest a lot of money for me to play the game for him to play the game we got a lot of coaches in the past pro college all the situation and we know how hard the parents work for us and now i see a gap that is missing with this information about swinging and we giving this chance to keep learning and i promise you it work is working it's working and it's, it's worth it too it's worth it i promise try it try yeah. it try, try a whole month and i promise you, we're gonna we're gonna work hard yep you're not gonna want to get out you'll Hell see no. you'll see it's it's great the training with the best the Castro bro. Sure. nobody is nobody else is like no us. it's not bad no. and, and in this membership is not out there no do you know because you got the option of just going one video send this money and no. that's it right here it's like a communicate with us communicate. unlimited, unlimited. that's crazy like, do you we, know how much work we had to do we're doing something crazy right here for us because it's unlimited oh no we're gonna close this no? thing yes you see get too so, many we're gonna close so it. You, if i were you i go yeah. sign up right now right now right now because he's gonna get full and i don't want you out there you know i don't want you out of that membership i don't start waiting for it when we start bringing the pro guys out oh now i want to be dude no, maybe it's too late go, yeah go right now yep you have to i want people with logic go loscastrobros.com is right there go make, become a member let's go see you on the next video Bye.